Hey guys, it is Max, also known as Shockwave. So, as you probably know, Snapchat on Android is a pure disaster. Um, you know, it can lag, it can crash. Every time you use a filter, the app will close, the app will freeze, whatever. Uh, you want to have a fix for all these problems because you use Snapchat a lot. Um, it's a terrible app on Android. It's just to be honest, it's just so slow. It gets slower the more you use it. And today I'm here to give you some tips on how to make your Snapchat on Android just a bit faster. You know, you won't fix all of the problems because it's just a terrible optimized app uh, on a lot of phones. You know, some phones have their own like optimization for Snapchat and they uh, run the app quite well but on a lot of Android phones it's just a disaster. Me myself I'm on an Xperia Z5 so um, also all the steps that I do in this video might be a little different on your phone but it shouldn't be uh, too different. Um, but you know let's get right into it with the first tip. So you have to go into the Play Store and go to the official Snapchat app. Uh, you have to scroll down until you see something like this. Uh, where you can apply to be a beta tester. Or, I mean you always get um, access to the beta program if you apply. Of course in my case I'm already a beta tester but you have to uh, apply for it. Then you will um, receive the beta version of Snapchat which is... Uh, a little bit of a newer version, it might have some new fixes, um, all that sort of stuff. I definitely noticed that the beta version was a bit faster, also because it is um, kind of a fresh install of Snapchat, so that makes the app run faster as well. So that's tip one, use the beta version of Snapchat. And now the second tip is to delete uh, your Snapchat. You can delete your Snapchat uh, app altogether, just to be sure, but you don't have to do that. You can also go to the app info screen. Um, these steps to get here might be a little bit different on your phone. You might have to go into settings, then apps, and then uh, search for Snapchat. But what you'll have to do is go into storage, and then you can clear the data or clear the cache which will it will clear all the data of the snapchat app so if you have your uh, memories which are the saved photos from your snapchat uh, those will all be like deleted if they're not backed up to snapchat servers um, this is basically a factory reset of your snapchat app so it will make it as quick as it was when you first used it um, you might notice that your cache file is like a few hundreds of megabytes and that's because all your memories all those photos and videos and whatever are basically stored inside the snapchat app which can make it really slow so pretty much you want to delete all that and then just basically lock in again and start over which is a bit of a hassle you have to uh, you know do all your settings and all that stuff again but of course you still have your friends and everything um, it isn't like your account is being deleted, it's just all the data in the app. So those are the two main things you can do to make your Snapchat app on your Android phone just um, acceptable again, I guess. Um, the best fix would obviously be to buy an iPhone because the Snapchat app on the iPhone is uh, like a world of difference compared to the Android version. But if you want to run it on your Android phone, here are some tips to make it a decent app. Uh, if you have any more tips, be sure to leave them down in the description. I hope it's shorter out because we all want to use a nice and quick version of Snapchat. And don't want all of our fucking photos just gone because this, the app is crashing or it's freezing or whatever. It's bad. We don't want bad things, we want good things, so help each other out. And in comments below, wow, oh my god, I'm just losing my voice in this video, so it's time to, to, to quit. I'm going. You can help me out as well, if you subscribe and like. And then, I'll see you in the next one.